Today I'd like to talk dog in the lost city of dogs town. The lost city of dogs town was built by the great prophet dog himself. In the year A. T. 711. Under the command of the great and mighty king dog dogs. And there. In the city of dogs town. Bob lived and preached his gospel of slack to the people for the next 700 years. But one day, we are told, the great prophet Bob foresaw the coming of the Antichrist, and knew that his followers would not be able to survive the Antichrist's holy war. So, with that, he gathered all of his followers together, and then, in a great ritual of slack, he led them into the holy waters of Lake Bob. And there, beneath the waters, they were all transformed into the shape of pink, mouth smurfs. And so it was that they were spared from the ravages of the Antichrist's holy war. But one day, we are told, many years after the holy war, the prophet Bob Dobbs, having foreseen the eternal need for slack in the world, rose again from the dead, and once more he called all of his followers together. And there, in the holy waters of Lake Bob, he breathed new life into them once more, and then returned them to the world to spread the word of slack. And it was from that time, we are told, that the pink mouth smurfs were called subgeniuses, and that their holy book was called the Bob Book. And if you want to know more about the lost city of Dogstown and the great prophet Bob himself, I'd like to encourage you to get a copy of the great prophet's book for yourself. It's available in bookstores everywhere.